All right, everybody, I am gonna do an update on our swing set garden. Now, as you know, we have the Asian yard long green beans and we have a couple of tomato plants in here. And I'm gonna show you this because I'm actually at a total bewilderment as to what I'm gonna be doing with these tomato plants. So here's the side. And as you can tell, it's working great. The um, yard lawn beans are viney. They like to climb. Swing set garden worked great last year when we did it. The tires are there to hold the soil and water. We have a new tomato there. I think that's a Roma. Donald picked up a couple of Romas. And then here's the back side. <laughs> Now this here, this tomato plant I'm going to show you is called a Cherokee Purple. The thing is taller than the swing set. We had to put in ropes or twine, I should say, just to help keep it because the support, um, which we bought one of those uh, round little prong ones, we picked some up for, our, uh, they were like 50 cents. And it is totally, it totally fell over. <laughs> this thing. I mean, I don't even know if I can get the whole thing in. And it's other plants next to it are even worse. I mean, this is the Cherokee tomato, purple. And it, it's just huge. But it's producing these gorgeous tomatoes. Um, here they are before they start turning. Nice. You know, nice size, you know. And then, let me see if I find some that have, I think Don may have picked them all off last night. Oh, no, here's some. Here's some that are turning. So, it is dwarfing out we have another tomato back behind here. Um, the tag fell off of it, so we don't know what it is, but it's just as big and it's growing out the other side. Now, uh, here's another of the uh, yard, yard lawn beans. And then this one here, oh, look at the honeybee. I think he's sleeping. Oh, no, that's okay. Now, I believe these are the Brad's Crazy. I think these are the Brad Crazy. Um, I, I, I might be saying it wrong, but here's some here that have started to turn or Brad's atomic tomatoes I think I, I don't know but this one is almost as tall as the swing set just to get you and then there's I believe this one is the Cherokee no no, that's the, the, yeah, it's the Brad's Atomic. I'm almost sure. I might have to go back in my videos and look. And then we got a couple more new ones, Romas. We found some Romas because we wanted to um, make our own salsa, make our own tomato sauce, tomato paste, and be able to be self-efficient in that. And then we have to still weed a little bit, but here's another vine of the yard lawn. And remember, we put bamboo in the back to give it support for the uh, beans. We left this open. I was going to plant something here, but the weeds have gotten so bad. I'm, I'm just going to let that be. I'm just going to let the vines come down and cover this. Here is the front of it. And as you can tell, we already got beans. This one's loaded. 
There's the flower. There's another flower. That one just bloomed. Um, the ants that you see, those are um, harvester ants. They like to take um, the aphids and harvest them and use them as food. Um, normally we uh, spray off the aphids with water. That's the easiest way to do it without any chemicals. But as you can tell, gorgeous. And here's the next one. Going all the way up. And then here's some more of the tomato. This is the Brad's Atomic. And there's just lizards everywhere. <laughs> and then you can see the bamboo. Oh, look. This one's ready to be picked. This one's almost. You can tell the size difference. I go by, when I pick these, I go by the size of a number two pencil for the thickness. That's when you know they're ready. So this one is ready. This one's almost ready. Probably by tomorrow, I can pick that one. That's how you can tell when your yard long beans are ready. The size of a number two pencil. All right, now this is the back side of that humongous tomato plant. And as you could tell, the one that was in the back got kind of pushed out. And so it's growing on this side. And then there's some tomatoes there. And then the last one is growing beautifully. So guys, this is the swing set garden area and it's doing great. Remember, grow something for your family.